Yo, what's going on, E7 fam? Pat here, back with another video. And, well, it seems like we finally know the answer to what happens on 0401. Yes, I know today is April Fool's Day, so anything announced today should be met with some level of skepticism. But it appears that we are going to be getting a collab, and that collab is Overlord. Now, again, I know it's April Fool's Day. I know I personally have already put out an April Fool's joke, which if you haven't seen, please go check it out. But, well, Epic 7 makes announcements for all of its servers at the same time. And, well, April Fool's Day is basically winding down there. We got Marin's Express Mail, which is uh, essentially the follow-up to the somewhat disappointing reveal on Friday that 0401 would reveal what we were actually getting, right? So let's take a look and see what Marin's Express Mail has here. And hopefully it'll make more sense why this is probably a collab announcement. See, there's the 0401 from the various different ciphers and teasers over the last week. So they're talking about the darkness, right? From the cipher. You can see there was that little red flare on the eyeball. That's something that's very Ein Zalgun, if you're familiar with Overlord. But with the red eye. So she's talking about how there is a countdown on Epic 7's official page. And it is revealed what it is in roughly 39 hours from when I'm recording this, right? I'm recording this uh, probably around like 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. PST, right, on April 1st. So the reveal would be after April Fool's Day, right? So it would technically be an out-of-season April Fool's joke at that point with whatever they reveal on the website. Now, something that I would do had I seen this when this website first came up is view the page's source code. So for those of you guys who don't know, if you hit control U on your keyboard, it will bring up the source code for any web page that you're on. And this is all of the code that makes up the web page that you're viewing. And you could obviously poke and prod and see the various different like images and cascade style sheets, right? CSS files that make up this actual website. And you can see there's like other stuff that's like hidden here in the uh, actual data for it. But what we're concerned with is this JavaScript file here, right? Static.smilegatemegaport.com slash live slash temp to Epic 7 promotion, right? So this is something that I would have looked at had I been uh, awake a little bit earlier. You have to forgive me. It's been a, a pretty crazy last couple of weeks for me. So my apologies. But... People like Genizod have done videos where they looked at these files when they were, you know, unaltered because, well, the current live version of the JavaScript file looks something like what you see here on your screen, right? But you can see here that there's a description for a teaser, right? And then there are titles here for character number three, character number two, and character number one, and all of the descriptions for everything have been removed. But... This was not the case when the website first went live. A couple of uh, very astute members of the community were able to figure out that this is the uh, stuff that was hidden in the, uh, apparently in the, the header in the JavaScript files, right? So uh, assuming that this is to be believed, because again, I personally haven't been able to verify it, but it, apparently this is what was changed in the JavaScript file. So as you can see, uh, Epic 7, Smilegate, Overlord collaboration, right? And then here we have the uh, the stuff that we're talking about. TIT underscore character three. Well, that was supposed to be Albedo. Character number two is supposed to be Shaltier, right? And then character number one is Ein Zalgun, which are obviously the three main characters of the anime slash light novel Overlord, right? And like I said, here's Reddit. Somebody looking at the same file that we just looked at, right? You can see that they removed everything from all of the stuff because, well, the page's source code gives it away, right? Like, if you're the person coding the website, like, you want to just leave all the information in there, and when the countdown ends, you just you want it to go live, right? But, uh, well, again, people could just look at the page's source code, so if it's still there, people are going to find it, and obviously it was very, very quickly pulled 
when the website went live, assumingly, right? So, for those of you guys who don't know, Overlord's pretty good isekai. I mean, it can't be that bad. There is a show called Isekai Quartet, which is like the three most popular isekais, that being, you know, uh, Konosuba, uh, Overlord, and I believe it's also Slime. So it's like the three most popular isekais together, all in one. Uh, pretty good fun. But uh, yeah, Einzel Goon is the main character of Overlord. He's essentially a guy who gets trapped in an MMO as the server shuts down. And he is absurdly powerful, and the character that he plays is a a like a lich wizard basically uh and he's like i said absurdly powerful i definitely recommend watching the series if you haven't uh especially if this collab is true because again uh even as i'm recording this i am still just a, just a tiny bit skeptical because again i'm recording this on april fool's day but yeah uh Ayn's supposedly is the free five star character that everyone is going to be getting which makes sense because again if you've read or watched the source material you know that the guy's probably like super OP and they probably are going to give us a nerfed version of him as like a free welfare that we're going to be able to use for like PVE because ain't no way they would give us this character uh, and have him remain true to his like anime counterpart uh, as like a playable character that's like uh, a gotcha character, right? Like this guy is like way stronger than Rimuru in my opinion. Like he's way stronger than Rimuru. So uh, I just don't know how they could do this man justice unless there was, like, um, him being basically nerfed, like, in his form as, like, Momonga here, that it says, right? Like, which he has, like, a, a form where he's, like, basically holding back. Um, unless he's doing that, like, I just don't know how you would do it. Uh, but, yeah, for those of you guys who don't care about Overlord and have never seen it, uh, there are at least some good waifus here. So here's my favorite character from the series, Albedo. This is, uh, essentially, she's, like, a demon that is... Ainz's right-hand woman, and she's absolutely batshit insane and obsessed with him. Like, she's, like, full-on Yandere. Uh, if we actually get the character, she's maybe going to be, like, a knight, because she usually dons a bunch of, like, armor and is kind of there to, like, tank stuff for Ayn. So maybe that might be a possibility in other games, because uh, Overlord is an anime that has collabed with tons and tons of gotchas. She's usually a healer, so, you know, infer from that what you will. She's probably going to be one of those two. But you never know. Each game kind of has their own interpretation with how they use the character. Case in point, Nike. Uh, for some reason, Rem is the healer and Amelia is the DPS in that game, which is obviously not the case for Epic Seven. Uh, and then finally, here, this would be the other character in question, Shaltir Bloodfallen. Basically, uh, if you're a fan of Melissa and Abigail, this character is going to be right up your alley. She's obviously a, uh, a vampire. Uh, she's got that, like, Ojo-sama vibe, uh, and she, of course, just like Albedo, is completely obsessed and in love with Ayn Zalgun, our main character, uh, largely because, well, they are NPCs that are kind of programmed to do so. But, uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys actually think this is real? Do we think, uh, it's actually, uh, 100% an Overlord collab? Like I said, I wish I was here a little bit earlier so I could have looked at the source code myself, but, you know, I got to trust the image that is floating around on social media that, you know, it does line up again with the source code from the website. So either someone is pulling a really elaborate prank on us, uh, or it seems again, we're getting an Overlord collab. We'll check back in tomorrow when it's actually fully revealed. Uh, maybe I'll be live on stream when the countdown goes live so we can kind of react to it live. And if that's the case, you can find me over at twitch.tv forward slash I am underscore TSU. As always, enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye now.